One of the challenges we face in online education is how to effectively share videos with people through Zoom. If you've ever watched a video during a Zoom meeting, you've probably experienced the disappointment of seeing really choppy playback uh, that at best is a little annoying and at worst can make a video uh, almost unwatchable. A lot of people are talking about this online and suggesting ways to improve the situation. I wasn't really satisfied with any of the uh, options that I tried, but I finally did find a, a little trick that it's not perfect, but it really does help smooth video playback. And I'm going to share that with you in a moment. What I'm doing right now is recording a Zoom meeting with myself. So there's not a lot of bandwidth issues here, I don't think, and these should be optimal circumstances for getting smooth video playback. We'll see. Now before we go to share screen, one piece of advice that you hear a lot is that everyone in the meeting should shut off their webcam to conserve bandwidth, and that includes the host. So I am going to stop my video, and now we're ready to go to share screen. And one of the kind of obvious things that we're supposed to do is go to this item called Optimize Screen Share for Video Clip. Now, how much this actually improves playback, I'm not really sure. The only big difference I have seen is that it seems to make my cursor disappear for the audience while I'm screen sharing. Now, the next thing that we're told to do is to not share the whole desktop, but instead share directly from the video player which is represented here in the share screen window. And finally, people say that you should always show full screen. So I'm making the player full screen and selecting play. In order for us to know where we're going as a society, we have to know where we came from. Here at now, North I think West you'll West agree West with me that this doesn't look very That's good. Really it fun. is a jerky it's just not really acceptable video playback. Now remember, I followed all the recommendations, and since I'm just doing a Zoom meeting with myself, these conditions should be about as good as they get. So why am I still getting this jerky playback? Well, the answer seems to have a lot to do with what's called frame rate, uh, which is how many frames of video per second is the audience seeing. In film and video, we're used to seeing anywhere from 24 to 60 frames a second. Now, Zoom through the webcam does a pretty good job in terms of frame rate, but when it comes to sharing video clips, it's another story. And obviously, the frame rates are quite a bit lower there. So the question is, is there a way to uh, get Zoom to play our videos at a higher frame rate? And the answer I found is, well, yeah, you can, but you have to make a sacrifice. You have to reduce the size and resolution of your video. And one way to do that is to simply shrink down the video player on your desktop before you start screen sharing. So we're going to do things a little differently now. I'm going to change some settings, and we're not going to quite follow the usual recommendations. I am going back to the screen share settings, and this time I'm going to select this item that says Share Computer Sound, but I am not going to select Optimize Screen Share for Video Clip. Could be my imagination, but I actually seem to get better results when I do not check this box. Next, instead of sharing from the QuickTime player, I am going to share from the desktop. So I'm going to go Share. And now what I need to do is grab the edge of my player and shrink it down to about one quarter to a third of full screen. And now when we play the clip, in order for us to know where we're going as a society, you know, we know it, it really does look smoother to me. It's not perfect, but I think I can live with this. So if you don't mind having a slightly smaller video player, this can be a good way to go especially if you keep your desktop pretty uncluttered and choose a black background, which makes the video really stand out. Now, what if you absolutely have to have full screen presentation? Maybe most of your viewers are watching on phones or really small screens and you have to have full screen. Can you still get the advantage of somewhat smoother playback? The answer, again, is yes, but there is a trade-off. Now, the key to this is to still first shrink your player, like I've done here. 
But then we're going to go and reset our uh, screen share settings. And this time, instead of showing off of the desktop, we are going to choose the QuickTime player or whatever video player you have open on your desktop. Keep in mind that we shrunk it ahead of time. Does that mean the audience is going to see it shrunk? No, if you choose this option, they will see it full screen. You can see that we're still getting a lot of the advantages of the higher frame rate. But the trade-off, of course, is the resolution. The image is slightly fuzzy and pixelated. But if you don't mind a, a slightly degraded image, this might be a good alternative for you. If you have learned other tricks or techniques for improving video playback quality, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, I hope you've found this video helpful.